Hey, it's Coach Chris here, and today I'm gonna to show you some really simple techniques to double the post and wreak havoc on a team's half-court man-to-man defense. So the first one we're gonna talk about is double teaming the post after a pass and a cut, which often would be called a Laker cut. So just to, we'll just put the two players out here. So we got a guy in the post, and we got a guy on the wing with his defender. The ball's entered to the post. And so, of course, if you pass, you should move. You should not stand after you pass ever. And in this instance, we're going to Laker cut. So this player would cut right through here, and his defender will come with him, of course. Now, instead of staying with him, right about here, he's going to double team the post. And so now, everybody else, I'm just showing you this with two, but that's how it works. So that's the simple action. He passes, he cuts, instead of following him all the way through or going into more into a help defense, we're going to double team there. All right, now this can be very effective because for two reasons. One, you may have a really good post player that you're going against. You may be outsized as a team. And when that ball goes in, you can get two people on him. Now, you got to make him do things that he normally wouldn't do. Because you got to remember, especially at the high school level, most kids are going to catch the ball in the post, and probably the first thing they're going to do with it is dribble it. They're going to dribble it either right or left, probably to their right, and then they're going to pick the ball up and shoot. So they won't keep their dribble, which can be a great advantage to you if you're double teaming them, because as soon as they put it on the floor, they can't get out of that trap there. They're stuck right there. All right, or maybe you have a player who's not a good passer. Now you're asking this kid who's usually a post player to become a good passer out of a trap. Probably something he doesn't have a lot of experience doing, because usually the guards are going to be the people that are going to handle the traps, not the post player. So now we're putting a player that is not used to being trapped into a trap. Hey, I say, you know, we trap full court, we trap half court. Why not trap down here as well? You know, now they have, they're out of their offense. Whatever they're going to do, now it's scramble time. And, you know, here's how the rest of it flows. So let's just say it's a four out, one in. We got our post. We're deed up here. We're deed up. Defense, defense, and then defense. He's going to be at help. He's not going to be over there hugging his guy. The ball's here. Okay. So the ball goes in. This guy cuts through. Here's going to be our double. So we got two guys on here. And now we'll rotate over where necessary. So this guy will come over further to make sure the guy that cut didn't get the ball back. And then we're here, we're not gonna give that pass out there. We're not gonna give a pass out here. We'll move over, rotate to the ball. We just gotta find where's the next most likely pass going to go. And obviously this guy standing clear over here is furthest from the ball and out of a good double team there, it's going to be very hard for that guy to be found by the post. Now I have a great offer for all you coaches. It's my Bob Hurley Big Four package. And it's absolutely 100%, no credit card required, free. So just click the link down below in the comments or the description, and I'll send you four complete Bob Hurley videos. That's over four hours of Bob Hurley instruction, plus you're gonna get four eBooks that detail the videos as well. So that's why we call it the Bob Hurley Big Four. Just click down in the description or the comments, enter your email, and I'll email that right over to you. All right, now I'm just gonna change the formation a little bit. We'll have the ball here in the corner, we'll have a post, we'll have a wing, we'll have a guy up top, and then we'll have one weak side here. All right, so again, let's say the ball's entered from here. As he cuts through, he's gonna stop and double team He's not going to leave his man, and then he's not going to leave his man, and this guy's going to come over, rotate, and play two. So basically what you're going to want to do is the guy who is guarding the player that's furthest from the basketball is going to guard two people, just like you would in any other trap. So this guy's clear over here. We shouldn't be able to find him. This guy cutting through, we'll make sure we pick him up, and we're going to make him kick it out somewhere else out of the trap. So we're really bothering this post. And, and also, maybe this guy isn't very good. Maybe he's just really big. And that can work to your advantage, too. Let them throw the ball into the post so that you can double-team that player who can't dribble, who can't pass. 
you know, maybe he's just a big guy that likes to shoot, miss, rebound, shoot, miss, rebound, and let him have the ball, double team him so he doesn't get the shot at least, but then you're making him do things that he's not good at. And then you throw the whole team out of their offense because now it's just scrambling. And if you play college and you got a shot clock, now the shot clock's working against them. Of course, in high school, most high school uh, in the States, you're not going to have the shot clock be an issue. Now, if you'd like to have a great looking coaching board like this hanging on your office wall, just click the link down in the description and you can put your own team's logo on the board and there's three different layouts that you can choose from. So just click the link down below and we'll make a custom board for you. Now, a second option you'll see more in the NBA is a double team of the post from the baseline. So let's say we have, we'll just go out here. We'll go three out, two in, let's say. So we got guys here. Here's the ball right there. Here's our post we're gonna throw to. We're manning up. Again, we're in help. We're in help. So when the ball goes in, you know, whether he moves or cuts, we're gonna stay with him. And this guy, this guy is gonna come double team from here. And now again, here's the guy guarding the player furthest from the ball. So he's gonna sink and pick up both of these players. Now you can play in between them. Again, you're trying to read where the post player that's trapped is trying to go. So if he's trapped here, we should be blocking vision of anything over that way and he's gonna to try to get it out back to where he has vision too. So let's take a look at this on the footage. So we make the pass into the post and there's the cut, now here's the double team. And so now we're gonna look at the players. They're gonna to look to rotate over. So here comes Steph Curry. He's going to make sure the pass doesn't go back to the top. Draymond Green is making sure nothing goes low middle. And KD is going to step up here into the middle, higher into the lane. As a high school coach, this is happening in the NBA. And almost every time the ball goes into a high school player, the first thing they're going to do is waste their dribble and dribble the basketball, just like he's doing here. So the ball goes in and he bounces it, bounces it, and now he picks it up as soon as the trap comes. And you can get so many players to do this, even if they're a good player. Now, what's he, now he can't go anywhere. He can't create space off the dribble. As Soon as the double team came, he picked the ball up. He could have dribbled out away from the trap to create more space. He might've found the guy in the middle, but this is one thing if you double the post, you'll have a lot of success with because kids will put the ball on the floor immediately and then they're done. And a lot of them dribble with their heads down on top of that. So look at Draymond here. Draymond's not sealing him in. He's giving him space to pivot and find somebody. Draymond should have sealed that up and then it would have made it, it would give KD more time to get over there to take that corner. And then you're gonna leave on the backside one against two. One warrior guard one and 17 are covered here on the backside. And he would have read into the trap and taken away the next nearest pass wherever he was looking to throw it or the most dangerous pass, which obviously would have been one. But this is a perfect setup. If we got KD over guarding Danny Green taking that pass away, we got Clay up top taking that pass away, we're one on two on the backside where we're gonna cover two guys with one player. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, share it on social media. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any videos. We have a lot of new videos coming out, three to five videos a week coming out. So make sure you turn those notifications on. Now, if you have any questions or ideas for other videos, be sure to leave those down in the comments and I'll get back to you.